Hey friends, I'm anxious. <laughs> this is my first YouTube video ever. I got my lights set up, I got my phone as a camera, like we're doing great things here. I have a pile of clothes next to me. We're just gonna go for it, okay? I've been a YouTube viewer for years and years and years. I love it. I've always wanted to make a channel. I've thought about it and I've just been like, now's not the time, like excuse, excuse, excuse. And I'm just gonna do it. Like I'm done with the excuses, it's over. Um, so here I am. I have a bunch of clothes that I bought from Shein, which is a super popular website. It's like a fast fashion kind of website. Not super expensive, not the highest quality ever because you get what you pay for, but I like it because I'm a hairstylist for work, so I tend to just destroy my clothes completely. And I have like work clothes and play clothes. And so for me, it just works out to have just cheaper, like, shitty quality clothes because I don't feel bad when I get stains all over them. So yeah, we're gonna jump right into it. I have a bunch of clothes. Welcome to my channel. I don't know what's gonna happen with this channel exactly. I'm planning on making like plus size fashion videos and maybe makeup videos, maybe thrifting videos, but I don't know. I have no idea. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what the people want and we're gonna give them what they want. But for now, I'm gonna try some clothes on for you. So here's the thing. <laughs> I already filmed the whole first part of the video where I like hold up each garment and tell you about the garment. I feel like I like it better if I just put the outfit on and then be like, hey, this is the outfit, like she's cute, whatever. And that's what I'm gonna do. So here we are in the first outfit, gonna refilm everything that I just said. <laughs> okay, hey, what's up? So outfit numero uno. She's a crop top, we love her. Black, square neck, little crappie <laughs> I'm sorry, I've never uh, tried on clothes on camera before. So I'm, if I turn around and I get a little, oh, oh, booty pop, I can't help myself, I'm sorry. Okay, so yeah, she's a crop top, we love her. I like this crop top because, mind you, I'm tall, I'm 5'9", it's not like a, up here crop top like I'm not in that territory yet I'm not comfortable there I'm comfortable here okay a little peak of the belly like top of the belly ring maybe cool I don't want anything more than that that's too much for me right now so I really like the length of this crop top I like the square neck because if you like to wear necklaces earrings all that jazz I feel like a square neckline just like accentuates where you want it to um my personal opinion my humble opinion but yeah I love it it's cute it's just a good basic. Shein is so good for basics because you're paying like six to nine dollars for a basic tank top shirt, whatever, versus like breaking the bank for something that you're just gonna throw on to like be comfy. So yeah, outfit number one. Outfit number two. This is a scrunchy material. Can you see it? Can you see the ruffles? The ruching, if you will. Um, peplum top. I really like where the peplum falls because it does fall at like my smaller part of my body which i dig see you can like twirl around and feel like a little princess like whatever um yeah it's cute she's cute you can wear this one without a bra which i'm a big fan of especially after quarantine i'm like honey don't put a bra on me don't put a boob cage on me uh so that's really fun i also got it in green i'll show it to you in green it's cute the amount of times i'm gonna say cute adorable in this video I'm just so sorry I'm just so sorry I can't help myself oh uh, hey this is the same as that last top but in green another thing that I didn't mention that I should is that this has adjustable straps thank the lord because let me tell you I had to put it all the way down in the last strap like I said earlier I'm tall so you know when I didn't like if it was too t if it was all the way like you know at the top of the strap it literally looked like this and I was like what is a girl supposed to do with that? <laughs> but I adjusted it. And you can tuck her. You can tuck her down. And it is kind of like v-necky, which is cute. Also, I'm sorry that I'm staring at myself the whole time that I'm talking to you. I'm going to get used to it. I'm going to I'm gonna get better. Uh, but yeah, it's cute. The green color is cute. I think that peplum tops are a really nice way to ease into wearing plus size clothes because it's tight a little right in some areas but then it's like loose in an area that tends to be a lot of 
people's problem area, which is like the belly, like the lower belly. So a peplum top is a really good way to just slowly get yourself comfortable wearing plus size clothes. Cause you're like, no, it's fine. Like nothing is happening. And then eventually you'll just progress and you'll wear tight ones. You won't give a shit. But in the beginning, a peplum. Okay. Next one. Also, I would just like to say, I don't know how people do this because I am sweaty and it's not even that hot of a day out and I live in New England. How are people in California and Florida filming these videos? <laughs> like, honey, <laughs> the AC is popping. Um, this is just literally a basic ass black v-neck. <laughs> Nothing special to say about it. Other than I really like the material. Again, it's like, it's like cotton, but like stretchy cotton. Like there's, there's gotta be spandex in there. And it's literally just a basic black v-neck. Uh, I styled it, I put some sunglasses, and I also tied it. I love tying shirts. Again, people at different points of their like self-love, body positivity journey might not be tying their clothes right away, okay? We don't need them tied to our body. For me, I'm living, baby, I'm living. I like my clothes tied, it is what it is. Uh, she's cute. Ooh, 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 ooh. So yeah, I like it tied, but even not tied, it was cute. Hold on, I'll show, I'll show ya. Not tied, it's like a longer length. So again, maybe if you're a little self-conscious about the belly area, wear it, you know, how it comes <laughs> instead of trying to tie every article of clothing that you wear like I do. Um, I also kind of like, with the way that the V-neck is, and it's kind of a stretchy material, you could wear it all the way up on your shoulders, just like a usual shirt. I pull it down a little bit. I love a little shoulder moment. Also, most people that make these videos include the prices. I'm gonna. <laughs> I bought these clothes a while ago and it took me like a couple weeks to um, build up the courage to film this video. So uh, I'm gonna include the prices. In all my next videos, I'm gonna include the prices. I would be doing it with this one, but I don't have the receipt anymore. So I'll try to link everything in the description box. But here's the thing. When you get a t-shirt that has the little built-in choker thing, like, yeah, it's cool in theory, but, like, I can't get this shit on my body. I'm not going to film the rest because it's going to be such a disaster of me trying to get it down my face without ruining my makeup. But let me tell you, it's difficult. And here we are, casual, like nothing happened. This wasn't, this didn't take me 10 minutes to get on or anything. No, 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 no. This shirt's really cute though. Like, no tea, no shade. It's really hard to get on. This choker thing's a pain in the ass, but it's cute. I love it. Distressed little shoulders. We love a distressed shoulder. I like this, again, it's looser fit. So if you're not at a super comfy level of showing your belly, wear it just normal. You know, it's kind of boxy on the bottom, which is nice. For me, I'll either tie it like to the side, which is cute, or tuck it in, pull it out a little, call it a day. It's a t-shirt. Not much I can say about it. Although the sleeves are also very big, which I like. I like that it's like a flowy, it's a flowy t-shirt. If your arms are like a problem area of yours, which for me they are, sometimes with t-shirts I'm like, ooh, baby, feels like a blood pressure cuff like on my arm. Um, if your arms are a problem area for you, this would be a good one for you because it's a nice, flowy, loose situation. I got all the room to move. I'm getting hot. <laughs> I'm getting sweaty. I'm getting delirious. I hope you're enjoying yourself watching this because your girl's putting in work. Your girl's sweating. Okay, next up. So, this is super cute. I probably said cute 50 times, no less. Um, this is a, again, slightly peplum because the, it's not really a peplum. It's not really a peplum. But because the top is that scrunchy material, it looks like a peplum because then the bottom like flows out. A lot of plus size women have an issue with like this area right here. Like we all got the little, the little thing. Um, and just being strapless in general. A lot of people are like, no, 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 thank you, no. Um, but I feel like this shirt, because it hides other areas, might be comfortable for you, you know what I'm saying? 
my beef with this is I feel like it's a little bit too long for me personally and I'm 5'9 so for me to think that something's too long is like saying something but I don't know a lot of people would probably be like no it's fine like it's cute and it is but like it covers my whole booty you know what I mean like it's 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 quite long also notice I put on black pants change my pants for you you're welcome uh yeah so I don't know I just it's a little long for me I tried like tying it a little which looked weird because the inside is white um eh? I don't know I just don't typically wear I like high-waisted jeans and I like to wear shirts that are like around the same area that my high-waisted jeans are at I don't usually like super long shirts but again depending on where your problem areas are you might love a shirt like this because it might kind of hide some things that you don't want to be out there in the world with this ruchy type material you don't need a bra which is heavenly okay friends we're moving on to dresses so this dress it's not the worst thing I've ever put on my body but it's not the best either it kind of just hangs it just hangs out you know it's not like body contouring it's not you know not my favorite thing but it has pockets it has pockets also I really like that it's v-neck I love a v-neck dress for this reason I pop my little sunglasses there can I just tell you I don't even wear sunglasses on my face <laughs> I don't remember the last time that I put a pair of sunglasses on my face I put them up on my head as an accessory or in my shirt. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. So yeah, honestly, I don't know. The more that I look at it, the more I'm like, no, it's kind of cute, like I like it. It's not the worst thing I've ever had on my body. It's just the shape of it in general. We love the pockets, we're here for the pockets, okay? But then the problem when you have the pockets is they just like sit there weird. And there's nothing you can do. You can't like tuck them more. Like it just looks like these little saggy, hangy little things I don't know so the more I look at it the more that I don't hate it but it's not the best thing I've ever worn but like okay summertime beach pool party going to my friend's house who doesn't care what my body looks like yes like I'm wearing this dress I'm wearing it it's cozy it's flowy it's airy it's breezy Ooh, baby okay friends here's the thing I thought that I bought two dresses that were exactly the same but different colors but I didn't. This looks like the same v-neck in the front and the back pockets whatever but the material is different and it changes the game a little bit. So the black dress was mostly cotton a little bit of polyester this one is flipped so mostly polyester with a little bit of cotton. The material is different I was worried that it was gonna kind of like grab at my problem areas which it doesn't but also like from the back it doesn't look that great. I don't know again casual like summertime have the pockets do the thing um it's cute it, but yeah see what I'm talking about with these pockets like oh. so really comfy depending on where your problem areas are in your body that you're super not comfortable with you might like a little flowy dress like this you know it's comfortable it's cute it's summertime we're hot we're sweaty we need comfy clothes um this material I will say is a little bit warmer than the one that I got in black or maybe it's just the fact that I'm overheating because I've been <laughs> trying on outfits for the past hour. This is one of my favorite articles of clothing that has ever graced my body. And let me tell you why. Number one, it's red. It's a power color. It's beautiful. The print is chill out enough that it's not like overwhelming and busy. I don't like a super busy print. Um, but it's like kind of, yeah, it's florally. It's floral. Can you even see? I, I don't know. Um but it's tight in all the right places and loose in all the right places. Like it's just so stinking cute. Again, ruffly ruchy material, don't need a bra. I'm wearing one anyways because I, whatever. Um, little like cap sleeves. You can also kind of adjust where these go. You know, if your shoulders and your the top of your arms is an area that's not super comfortable for you, you can wear it up like this and have more of like a squarish neckline for me personally I don't mind the shoulders let them hang let them live so I pull it down a little bit and wear it more of like an open like a boat neck style but 
whatever you're comfortable with. You know, you can do both. I'll step back far enough so you can see it does have two slits, which like honestly just makes it more breezy. The slits don't go up so high that you're like, oh my God, the world can see everything that's happening. It's just like a casual little slit, you know, on each side. Boop, boop. Gives you some more mobility. But yeah, it's so, it's so freaking cute. Just the flowiness, the comfort level, the breeziness. Like we love her. We love her. Okay. Normally you say last and certainly not least. No. This is certainly least, honey. I am so frustrated about this dress. So here's the thing. It's cute. Like the pattern is adorable. On the website, I was like, oh my god, yes. Like, I feel like that little emoji that's like the salsa emoji. It's so cute. Okay. For <laughs> the way the straps work, I don't even know. This, I don't even actually have this properly secured because I literally couldn't figure it out. The straps kept like falling out of the hole it was supposed to be in. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, the, the pattern is cute, I like, so basically it's like a halter top thing and then there's like little slits right here and then the little skirt and I was so into that. But uh, the straps, like I was fine, you know, I'm wearing a bra right now, I was like, I'll just get the little sticky things and it'll be fine, like I don't need to wear a bra, I can have the back, backless with all the straps. No, 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 no. The way you have to tie it, I, just, I literally just stood here for 20 minutes being like, how do I, like, where does this go? Where does the strap go? I don't know. So I'm super sad because this dress like has so much potential to be so stinking cute, but it's just not there. It's just not there. To be honest with you, I'm almost considering just like cutting the top off and just wearing the skirt as a skirt because it's cute. Like the skirt is cute. I love the pattern. I love the colors. But the, the rest of the strap situation is just, I can't talk about it anymore. I can't talk about it. And of course, I tried this one on last when I'm already like sweaty and flustered. And then I'm like, what? But anyways, don't buy this dress. Don't waste your money. I did not want to film the outro in that shitty dress and have that be the last memory you have of this video. So I whipped that bitch off and put this cozy one back on. So thank you so much for bearing with me. Again, this is my first video that I've ever filmed trying on clothes. Um, two things that I've taken away from this experience is that I didn't understand how sweaty you get. So that's a thing. And also I, I'm aware that I was looking at myself instead of the camera a lot. So I'm sorry. I can't help it. I'm like, oh bitch. Like I put an outfit on and I'm like, oh, so I'm sorry. I, I'll get better about that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate patience and like watching this and supporting me and hanging out with me uh this is gonna be a fun little adventure i'm excited now that i'm not mortified and like terrified of this whole experience aside from the sweat factor um i'm definitely gonna do this more often and i had so much fun if there are any specific stores you'd like to see websites you'd like to see different styles of clothes that you're like girl please try on some shorts some skirts whatever let a hoe know comment down below let me know what you want to see. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. I appreciate the support. I appreciate you hanging out with me and dealing with my sweaty face. Uh, I love all of you. Have a blessed day. No, girl, you don't need to be showing them that much of your body. Okay, so next video. I mean, what? No, next outfit. Um, I have tape on my foot. Okay. Um, also, I promise you it's going to be just as hard to get this thing off my head as it was to get it on my head. The amount of times, cute and summery, I've said, I'm sorry. I don't know what other words to use. We're, we're almost okay, done. Okay, everybody. Thanks. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. So, oh, no, no, I can't do that.